Hey, this is Bugpad of Dust. Thank you for joining me for episode 5 of my Rich Explorer playthrough. Thank you for the comments in between the episodes. I think the consensus <laughs> largely is to give Gordon a decent burial rather than turn him into soup. Because honestly, he's not going to give a lot of meat. He's not going to live a give a lot of leather. So I'm going to make a nice flower garden for animals who perish in the line of duty. Or just get hunted brutally. I'm probably going to put it kind of here, near to, near to the door. So if they want to come out and look at graves, they can do so quite easily. Because that, that's a recreational thing. So I'm going to make, um, let's say, a few graves. Let's say three graves. I'm going to surround it by flowers. Just because, why the heck not? Rose in there. There you go. Perfect. And I'll make, uh, I'll make it roses. There you go. Beautiful. And we can put a nice little paving stone spot here. It's where people can stand if they want to pay their respects, which I think is rather nice. All right. Well, that's the niceness. That's the niceties out of the way. Let's get back to a brutal rim world. All right. Speed things up. Let's go. All right. So we've got a raid from Wastohum. Wastohum? Who is it? Well, they split into two groups. That's never a good sign. Uh, okay, let's have. Uh, okay, so we've got some. Um, mm, okay, pistol and grenades. It's all very welcome. And up here we've got a dude with a machine pistol. Okay. Now, more importantly, what skills have they got? Because um, this is critically important. Chemical fascination, great memory, nervous. Hmm. At the moment, I need somebody who's good at intellectual. Fast learner, gourmand, bloodlust. Yeah, I could forgive the gourmand. Um, fast learner and bloodlust are two good traits. And finally, Horn. Great name. Psychically deaf, depressive, misandrist. Oh, gosh. Okay. So really, you want to try and capture Phoenix. Now, unfortunately, he's got the grenades, which is a problem. Because they're kind of a prime target. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, what are they doing? Are they attacking straight away? They'll prepare for a while. Okay, fine. We turn, the, uh, turn the turrets on. Meanwhile, our two current prisoners, um, they are... Well, the resistance is down quite heavily on these, 11 and 12. Then it gets into the whole recruitment chance thing, which is pretty poor. So we should try and get into it. We've made uh, another helmet, which Zekas is wearing. Just now need a final helmet for Flanker. Really short on metal, though, so we need to start uh, start mining quite heavily. Now, what I'd like to do is set up a defence uh, line here, if I can, because this dude has got a machine pistol, so he'll be taking cover and trying to shoot us. So we're going to want to have some kind of cover, which is half decent, really. Um, defense is not something I spent a lot of time on. These turrets have kind of been good enough for now. Ah, blocked by a poplar tree. Let me just make a note to cut that down. Okay, beginning their assault. So, grenades and... Where are they? Where are they here? Grenades and pistol. Hmm. Okay. These guys are going to... No, this guy's going to reach us first. If we go out and take take the fight to him, then we'll come back and take the fight to the other one. This is going to be... He's going to get a shot off and hit Flanker before Flanker can get in close. Um, but that's kind of... We should be leveraging the turrets, really. I've kind of misplayed this, but that's kind of alright for now. Perfect. I'll do. What's this dude? Psychically deaf, depressive. Minus 12 all the time. Good grief. Really not, no. However, yeah, however, we'll, we'll take his stuff. Let's strip him immediately. I'll take that as well. Grab that up. And now, who's got... No, the weapons are quite good at the moment. Flanker is a brawler, isn't he? No, he's not. Hmm. But he's better at melee. We do need a, a melee person, so I'm good with that. That's fine. That's fine. We've got him. We've got his clothes. We'll come and haul those momentarily. 
Okay, so Zekas is here. I'm going to get Zekas to come out there and we'll move these guys over here as well. I'm concerned about what a Mr. Grenades is going to do. That kind of bothers me a little bit. I can do without getting my my plants wrecked. I need to bring my animals inside, of course. That's something I didn't do. Let me just set that up very quickly and I'll be right back. Right, so I've created an animal safe area, which is just in this corridor here. And I've put the three alpacas into animal safe. I don't want to risk them particularly. There's really no need for it. Now, they can be one out of range of these guys' weapons. The heavy SMG and the charge rifle are both quite short range. So that's not ideal. They are going to try and mess up the... Yeah, that's that's not great. That turret's not long for this world. Hmm, what's he got? Oh no, actually, the barricade took the brunt. That's why we have barricades, kids. Now, do both these guys have the range? I think you do, and you do. Okay, it's fine. Sweet. Oh, brought some neutro as well. That's going to be very useful. Got grenades. Um, sadly, this is the one we wanted to capture, uh, but that's okay. Pick up some useful bits and pieces. I'm surprised they haven't broken. Chemical fascination, great memory, nervous. Mm, it could be useful. I need some new good crafting, really, but... Okay, we can still potentially um, capture him. Now, what's he going to do? He's going to have to move in because he's not in range. So he's going to think about it and he's going to move up. I think the trouble is we don't really... I don't want to get into this kind of gunfight with him. So I'm going to move flanker down to here, then here. I'm going to actually try and get him to, to come to us. I'm not getting into this. If you're in this sort of gunfight, you're doing it wrong. There's This really is the last resort, quite frankly. Because if you disengage, he, he'll move up anyway. And then we can engage him um, on a better, a better footing. All right. Okay, let's move the guys down. Oh, there's no door here, is there? That's that's gonna that's gonna put them open to Does he change his targets? Let's have a quick look. Let's put Is he firing at me? Oh he's firing at the wind turbine, isn't he? Okay, Flanker's got kind of alright armor. He might be able to rush him. I'll wait till these guys get out. And then we will... Yeah, that, that turret's fine for now. Okay, Flanker's going to move up. These guys going to move to there. He hasn't changed his firing. Perfect. Right, these guys don't fire because you're going to hit Flanker. That can be disengaged. Disconnect. Just bruising, hopefully. Or well, nothing. Sweet. And an excellent revolver. Well, I'll take that. Excellent. Good work, everybody. I'll take that. You guys can chill. Good job. Well done. We've got some useful bits and pieces. Machine pistol will come in useful. Or we can sell it. Simple meat's rotted away in storage. Simple meal is rotted away. No! Yeah. You see, this is a good idea in principle. But I'm not so sure it's a good idea. I'm not going to put food on here. I'm going to just disrest uh, disrestrict, de-restrict. What? I know what I'm saying. I'm going to take food off the shelf. Um, it's sort of thing you can use for like psychite tea and things like that. But for now, I'm just going to basically take everything off this, um, which which will which will be fine. Okay. You get repairing. I want to haul in the machine pistol and the duster you can do that and then flanker when he's finished doing that can haul in the bowler hat and the t-shirt any kit we don't have to make ourselves is good as far as i'm concerned and then randolph can chop the poplar tree down what i'm going to do i'm going to um, put growing zones in here to stop these trees growing because it is quite annoying all right Let's make that um, strawberries and a little bit of heel root, I think. Can't hurt. Okay, cool. I will harvest that in as well. All right, good. Excellent. Take neutro, grenades, go juice. Ooh, dangerous times. 
I'll take it, but I'm going to restrict it straight away. I'll get Flanker to pick that up. Because he's a teetotaler, so he won't be tempted. As soon as he puts it down, I'm going to restrict it. Boom. I, one thing I've done I didn't mention before is I'm making four fine meals a day, which means that our three plus one of the prisoners gets a fine meal um, made. Uh, sorry, eaten, so they get a nice boost from it. Just one per day, because I don't think having two fine meals per day actually makes it any higher. So that's actually quite nice, I think. Okay, so let's sort that out. All right, onwards. Right, we've had an interesting quest just pop up. 22-year-old gatherer named Yumi Higgins is calling for help. She's hiding from a malfunctioning weather control satellite. So she wants to join us. So we get a free colonist, but it's going to rain for 19 days. I'm actually okay with that. Rain rain is no big deal. It doesn't stop the plants from growing. You may get your colonists soaking wet, I suppose. Um, so I may have to uh, prioritise maybe making dusters and stuff for them. But uh, yeah, I'll take it. And she's she's young, which is good. And she's a gatherer, which implies that her plant skill is quite high. So, okay, I'll take it. We will take it. All right, let's jump to Yumi, see what she looks not looks like. <laughs> looks like in a bio wise. She's gr not a wimp. No, <laughs> not a wimp. <laughs> oh, gosh. I vowed I'd never take another character that's a wimp, and I've got, I've got one. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't do much about that. However, I suspect she's tribal. She is tribal. Okay, good. So what we'll do is we will, um, first things first, let's set up a, um, a spot here for her, meditation spot. And we'll make sure that's set to Yumi because she will want it. And it's not far, which is brilliant. Um, and let's set up her schedule. So we'll make sure that Yumi definitely does lots of recreation. So she boosts the growing of the grass um, as much as possible. Right, let's have a quick look at what she can do, what she can't do. So she can't do caring, but she's actually pretty good at shooting. Oh, huh, okay. She's got burning passion for cooking. That's interesting. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll get her to do cooking, so she can be our cook and our grower. That frees up the others who are currently doing these tasks who are better at other things, i.e. mining, because we do need metal. So she'll be cooking and growing, Yumi. Okay, that's cool. Cooking and growing. So, cooking. Bad to start off with, so we could run the risk of food poisoning. But hopefully she'll get past that. And growing. Not plant cutting. Uh, she doesn't look, not going to do hunting at all. None of that. Set that to three. We can get her to do mining and plant cutting if she really has nothing better to do. But, um, but otherwise she's going to be uh, cooking and growing. So that's cool. Now, Flanker also enjoys cooking, so... Honestly speaking, what else is Flanker good at? Let's have a quick look, because this is so social. Mm, okay, mining zero. Uh, mm, okay, there's really nothing much else he could potentially be doing. Construction and mining is zero, which is a big issue. But he also has a burning passion for cooking, in which case I might take another look at Yumi then and just try and work out what it is that we want to do with her. She's got mining four, so I'm... Alright, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put her not on cooking, but on mining. Mining two and growing. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Okay, cool. And we'll get Yumi to pick up the machine pistol as well, seeing as she's actually reasonably good at shooting. Um, we are. We do need to make uh, two more steel helmets, though. The Gladius no one's going to make, because no one's got the crafting high enough yet. I don't believe. I think I've got to have four. So Randolph could actually do it. Randolph could be our crafter. So if he ever gets to it. Let me just back him off on... Oh, he's got seven mining. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Now we are four. So I'm pleased to announce the lovely burial of Gordon. He's now in his little rose garden where we're going to put our animals who pass away. And it's a nice little uh, pave tile there for people to stand on to pay their respects. Which is lovely. And it's raining a lot. And we're getting uh, debuffs because people are soaking wet. 
I'm not sure we can do about that. I don't know if a duster actually makes any... Yeah, it does seem to make a difference, actually. That's interesting. Okay, let's try and get dusters for people. That's the next thing. Do we have... We've got enough plain leather to make one. Let's have a quick look at what else do we have. We can make one more duster. Let's set that up, shall we? Make duster. Details. Make it out of anything you like. Right, who's on tailoring? Do we have anybody who's actually good at tailoring? Three, two, one. Hmm. We've got a situation where Randolph is kind of okay at everything, but really Randolph can't be the one who does everything. He just hasn't got the time. Hmm. So Yumi doesn't really have any... Yeah, there's no... No real interest in it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. I'm going to put somebody just just to do it. I'll, I'll get Randolph to do it as a matter of matter of uh, urgency, so then it's done. It's only a one-off task, it's not that big a deal. Where is Randolph? So it seems the flat jacket doesn't keep the rain off in the same way that a duster does. Because Flanker does not get any debuffs. Oh no, he is. Ah, okay. So it looks like rain doesn't really make any difference. We obviously, haven't haven't, uh, haven't got umbrellas, but Zumi needs some kind of top to wear. So, and I just realised what I did wrong. I put um, <laughs> recreation instead of meditation. Oops. I wonder why she wasn't going to meditate. Okay. So, well, then, yeah, we sh Yumi should start meditating now at the tree. Which is, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do though, because she's going to be there for quite a long period of time. I'm going to put a roof area um, and a little bit of sandstone wall, just so um, it will cover her while she's sat on that spot. It's going to get very wet otherwise, um, it's just something we don't need particularly. Um, if I get him to do that when he's done, how can fires start? Seriously, that should be going out. Come on, it's raining heavily. No, anyway, Randolph's on it. So you see, Yumi's there already. Is he going to build the roof area? I think he should. There we go, beautiful. Lovely. Now she's uh, a little bit covered while she's out uh, doing the meditating. Well, we've just had a Mega Sloth self tame, which is pretty epic. <laughs> that's, that's really good. Our first hauler. I'm loving it. Thank you, Mr. Mega Sloth. What are we going to call him? We need to get him a, a, a sufficiently grand name um, for the Pharrell Mega Sloth. I'll be right back. Yes, yeah, so they're going to call him Magellan after is it Francisco Magellan, who uh, was the first one to successfully circumnavigate the globe. Which is quite an achievement, really, if you think about it. Uh, okay, let's call him Magellan. Oops, a couple of them. All right, very good. Welcome, Magellan. The uh, rice harvest is coming in. We're getting the cloth coming in, which would be great for our flak vest. Gosh, that's that's a lot of cloth coming in. And also we can make um, sort of poker table or something. We need to deal with Yumi's jealousy at some point. She has broken because she was insulted, apparently. But we need to deal with her jealousy. Maybe give her her own bedroom. Might be a good idea. Um, I c oh, no. They've had mountain. I was about to say I could sort of drill into here, but don't want to do that. Maybe, maybe kind of add it on here for now. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we've got enough marble to make it half decent anyway. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, good news. Porcupine's resistance has now been broken, so we can start our recruitment efforts, efforts in earnest. Unfortunately, recruitment difficulty 91% because she's tribal. <laughs> so, that could be a while. But all we need is somebody to get uh, inspired recruiting and Bob's your uncle. Um, this chap's not going to be any easier. Sorry, this girl's not going to be any easier because obviously uh, she's Empire and it does um, offset by plus 20%. So, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> we have all the time in the world. Time is definitely on our side. So we shall see. I think we've probably got enough cloth for now. We can, um, we can replant this to be something else. So what else could we make? Um, cycled plants coming along. Coming along nicely. Uh, sorry, smoke leaf. So we'll put some cycoid here. We'll start making some cycoid tea, which is good for moods. Um, yeah, I think we'll have plenty of cotton by the time it comes in. Is it deteriorating? It's deteriorating quite rapidly. 
Oops, sorry. Well, what I thought what we should do is get Randolph to uh, to haul all this good stuff in. Post haste. Oops, hang on. Hauling, and then come back out and do some more. Looks like you don't. It's not taking much in one one hit by the looks of it. Planker can come out and give a hand. We are very much running out of space. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> we need to deal with the situation. Wow. Well, this is extremely good news. Managed to uh, to get Porcupine. That's completely unexpected. <laughs> so that's fantastic. We've also put Yumi into uh, her own room down here. Moved the statue in now. Fortunately, the statue, uh, sorry, the barracks remains very impressive, even though we've moved the statue out. So Yumi's room is slightly impressive. On the plus side, she doesn't get a debuff now from um, not having a decent room. She slept outside briefly, hence these debuffs, but they, they will disappear. Um, so that's really good news. Um, okay, let's, ch let's check out Porcupine. I don't know what Porcupine was all about. Misinterest Jogger Kind, that's good. Uh, Misinterest not so much, but uh, social fights, I suppose. But that will get cancelled out by being kind. So, yeah, hopefully. Good shooting, good melee. Kind of all-round good. Intellectual, yeah, really good. That's fantastic news. Um, the other thing is, let's check out health. Health conditions are fine. And... We just need clothes, really. We've um, we just expanded this uh, this store now, just ever so slightly, by getting rid of that door. Sorry, that wall. Um, hence the uh, the stone being in there. So that's good news as well. And um, yeah, it's all looking very positive. We just need to get another bed built now, and we can um, we can get Porcupine somewhere comfortable to sleep. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, the other thing that is that porcupines are tribal. Um, so what we'll do is we'll expand out the uh, the roof area here. We'll put down another medical, not medical, <laughs> meditation spot, and we'll mark that uh, for porcupine. So now we can get the grass growing uh, faster rate of knots. Currently we got one, and we're halfway through to the second one. But this will get done quite quickly. We'll also set her schedule to be broadly the same as Yumi's, so we get lots of grass getting done. So that works. Do need to get Porcupine a weapon, of course. Uh, so her bio is she's better at shooting than melee, but only just. So we'll give her give her the LMG, I think, just for now. She's only wearing tribal wear, so we do need to get her some other clothes to wear because I don't think tribal wear is going to be particularly protective. We do need to do some hunting, however, um, and start getting some leather so we can actually do this kind of thing. So I'm thinking leather amount thirty three. 120 on the mega sloths. Ooh. That's actually quite tempting. And they're split up as well. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. We'll send them out in a group and we'll, we'll hunt down the mega sloths. Let's, let's take everybody now. Let's go and do it quickly. We could do the meat and the leather. How much leather does that give us? Uh, where are we? Mega sloths. Mega sloths. So that's. Leather around 120, so that's enough for one duster with 20 left over. So you could probably do with getting both of them. Right, let's get them all to fire, apart from Flanker, who can just sit there. We do need to get him a, another sword. I think we've got enough metal to build him a Gladius, so I'll have to do that next. Let's get this done. He's running away, I can't see how I blame him. Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back, stop! <laughs> stop! Okay, that's one. Uh, where's the other ones? They're probably a bit further away, aren't they? So we'll go with that for now. We'll get another duster made, and uh, job done. Anyone we'll going to collect him? Porcupine, you can grab him up. No, not Berry. Is there no space set to take... Hang on a minute, that's strange. Animal corpses. Hmm. Weird. I can't seem to haul him for some reason. Plank can haul. Oh, I think I know what it's doing. It's taking these as overriding the, the slots for dead bodies in here. It's assuming you want to bury him, so if I... If I just set the storage in here to not allow fresh, which effectively will disable them because both rotten and fresh are done, let it go on a bit and then do 
that. Yeah, there we go. That's obviously what it is. So porcupine can grab up, grab up the mega sloth. Okay. Okay, it's a bit of meat, a bit, a bit of uh, a bit of clothing. That's good. I like to get a bolt action rifle if I can. That's a really good hunting weapon. But uh, we're okay for now. Right. So the gladius needs to be made. Um, you've got to have crafting skill three, and we need. Yeah, we need steel. This is the thing. Actually, Flanker could haul that while he's here. That should give us enough. 75 to go with the... No, it won't. It's a shame. 86. It's not enough. Alright, we need to do some more mining. Let's get some mining done. I need to set porcupine skills up, actually. It hasn't been done. I'll do that and I'll be back. Yeah, so what I've done is I've put uh, a table and a couple of chairs out here, also covered by the roof. So if they want to eat, they don't get a debuff for eating with that table. And so they can eat here and not get soaking wet either. Uh, also, the other mega sloth appears to be here. Okay, Raider Lair. So, sends a message. Pirates based in nearby camp, raiding caravans. Uh, it's only got two pirates, but we would get a power claw... Luciferium or Goodwill out of it. Oh, that's interesting. And guarded by two pirates as well. I'll get some loot. Hmm. Okay, whereabouts is it? So that's the that's the stash with the uh, the two neuroformers. It's not telling us where it is. Now, if I remember correctly, these don't tend to be too far away. I'm tempted to take this. The power claw could be quite useful. Hmm. We've got... I'd say we've got enough people to do this. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, my YouTube watchers? Do you think I should take it? Is this worth it? I don't like leaving the home fires unattended for only one person. Oh, I don't know. It's borderline worth it, I think, but not overly so. Two pirates are not going to be any bother at all. I could, probably, I could just probably send three people, leave two at home. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Tell me in comments. Do you think I should take it or leave it? Yeah, so we've got Sentry Mechanite, it's one of these kind of RNG, boom, you've got a disease kind of thing, so that's Zekus. Not as bad as Muscle Parasite, so it could be worse, it could be worse, but um, okay, I mean, there are benefits to it, you know, so. He talks at 146% speed. <laughs> wow, nobody can understand him. I've got a clue what he's on about. And uh, Anthusus's, Anthusus's uh, resistance has been broken, so she's now going to get recruited. Um... And she'll be our new uh, researcher because her intellectual is eight, which is great. That's two better than uh, porcupine. So I've got porcupine making gladius because Flanker needs a better weapon than that silly knife, quite frankly. So that should happen quite soon. And we're bringing in the first of the smoke leaf, which is super. So what we're going to do is we are going to make a... I guess it's a crafting spot, isn't it? I don't think you can make it anywhere else at this time. You need a drugs bench to make it properly. I don't even know if I can make smoke leaf. Is that a research thing? I think it... Is it drug production? I can't... I can't remember. I don't know if you do or not. Let's just have a look. Um, we can do that. And we'll get a nice chair to be built as well. Let's have a quick look. Oh, no smoke leaf joints. There we go. Do it forever. Because why not? Um, what I'll then do, because we now have the potential of uh, people getting off their head on smoke leaf and I should manage the drug policies social drugs um, smoke leaf joints let's have a quick look at this for recreation for addictions yeah for recreation but we want it on a timetable only if moved below say 35 percent only if recreation is below 10 percent I'd rather they didn't do it for recreation there's other ways of doing recreation but mood is kind of important um keep on in inventory um actually no you can come back and get it okay that's that's good that works all right 
deteriorated away in storage. No, I don't want anything here. That shouldn't be there, actually. Oh, Gladius has been made. Is it any good? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Flanker's currently got a poor knife, so it's got to be better than that. So, it is an upgrade, even though it's not a very, very great upgrade, honestly. We do need to haul in. Get the smoke leave in. Yep. It's all coming. Deteriorates quite quickly, I would have thought. Same as his cloth. That's what we're going to do. Let's just bang everybody up to hauling one. Should get people. No. If they're not asleep, it would. No. Not much a lack of stuff going on here. Maybe I picked a bad moment. Does the rain have an effect on the de de deterioration? It's easy for you to say. Oh, a packable hundred. That's helpful. Wow. That's... Oh, wow. We can make an impeccable duster. I guess. Have a quick look. Details. Impeccable, you can. That's rather good. Okay. I think we need to make one for porcupine. You also need to make um, some pants and a t-shirt as well. Now, who's on tailoring? Nobody's tailoring. Three, two, three, and four. Four. Hmm. I need to get Randolph to do it. If he ever gets to it. He should do. There's not much else going on right now. Though Randolph doesn't even seem to get into the mine, which is further on up the up the list, so we'll have to see what's going on there. I don't know what. Need this cloth in. As soon as possible. Might have to micromanage this a little bit. There's Randolph. 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 Okay. They are hauling. He will get to it eventually. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, this is full in here as well, isn't it? Mm. Now, making smoke leaf. That is crafting. Okay, it's a crafting job. Now, do you need any... I assume we don't need particular skills to make smoke lift joints, do you? No. Okay. That's good. So let's move the hauling back and uh, crafting. Yumi the Gatherer. Do you need particular skills to make... You don't need particular skills to make a joint, but does it give you crafting skill? We shall see. We'll get Yumi to do that. I'll get her to do it as soon as she wakes up, we can see immediately. So her crafting is at 1090. All right. It's going to take her a while, but we shall see. So skill 1090. It takes four per smoke leaf by the looks of it. Smoke leaf joint. And no, does he get any skill? Oh, it's a cooking. Oh, okay. So does that mean she gets some... Um, no, she doesn't get a, a plus for doing something she's got burning burning desire at. Doesn't make you a bit faster, though. All right, so if it increases your cooking skill, that's very interesting. Didn't realise that. So it's 517. I'm pretty sure it does, because she got to, well, cooking three, didn't she? In which case, that's a good way to train people to get cooking skill. Cooking. It does. Okay. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Just like. No, no. We'll let that for now. It's fine. Alright. I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I'm going to leave it there. That's been a um, fairly rainy episode. But uh, we've got five people now. That's, uh, that's brilliant. I'm loving it. Very good indeed, and hopefully a sixth with uh, with Anthusa coming over. Proving to be a little bit tricky, you know, but I think she's as happy as she could be, given the circumstances, so that was very good. All right. Thanks for watching. Do uh, join me for the next episode tomorrow. 
take care of yourself uh, any comments or feedback always appreciated and do let me know if we take on if you think we should take on this quest kind of borderline really we got five people i think we can we can do this quite easily we'll send three but let me know your thoughts would you do it all right take care this is bug pulling the plug